Get out and vote was the message from a Democratic-led initiative that gathered in Orlando this afternoon. It's called the Tour to Save Democracy. West News' Luana Munoz spoke with people from both sides of the aisle. Hey, we are not going back. Those words echoed this afternoon in downtown Orlando. Congressman Maxwell Frost, State Representative Anna Escamani, and former State Attorney Monique Worrell gathered to encourage young voters to exercise their Democratic right this election and vote. But the part about Project 2025 that scares the hell out of me is the subversion of democracy. The point of this is to change our system. That way there is a permanent conservative right wing stamp on our government. So no matter who is elected, those things cannot be reversed. Former President Donald Trump has distanced himself from Project 2025 as it became more well known. But comments he's made on the campaign trail are raising concerns. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years. You know what? It'll be fixed. It'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christian. Republicans at UCF want Trump to underline the conservative agenda, securing the border, abortion rights, and what they say is an economy in need of repair. I feel like a lot of people, especially my age, have really seen the effects of Joe Biden's presidency. And um, especially people that are in college right now, this election will affect them more than any other election has. Thursday's event was the last stop for the Save the Democracy tour, which has taken their cause to swing districts across the country. And while event organizers' main goal was to get people to get out and vote with today's event, it was also about a host of issues from climate change to gun violence. From what I've seen, I've been working in politics since I was 14, for six years now. Democrats are the only political party even attempting to decrease the amount of mass shootings, the amount of gun violence that we have every single day, every single year. Also in attendance was Patricia Oliver, mother of Joaquin Oliver, one of the victims of the 2018 mass shooting at Parkland High School. She hopes his story will create change. She says so that his name stays front and center, helping people so that they don't have to go through the same pain and emptiness one feels when losing a child. In Orlando, Luana Munoz, WESH 2 News.